Shibakun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs, but... Sh in my dream... A woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some... at, at the... That dream was awful. I was going... like if the... Kuyusaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather... The other Juro Izumis. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. <clears throat> what? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. Why did you do this? Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. What exactly are you? 4-8-Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? I'm not watching it. See ya! Bye! You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. I guess here. it's about that time. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Hey, watch it! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, hey, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? Uh, can't expect you to know. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house in the past. <laughs> Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? No. Running won't change a thing. Think, think. Who might know something about this? Fuyasaka-san's absent. What about Yakushiji? Shinonome-senpai. 
She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. I should go talk to her. Hopefully she's at the nurse's office. Senpai, please wake up. <sighs> Izumi kun. No, don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. It's Shibakun. He's been messing with my memories, and replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi-kun's? That's... odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Miss Morimura? Our teacher? What does she have to do with this? I'm talking about Shiba-kun. Who is Shiba-kun? Kyuta Shiba. He called himself... Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Am I going to disappear? Well, if Izumi kun's memories were transplanted into you, does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyasaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? This is all news to me. The city was in ruins. I went around killing students, one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Among the dead, I saw people I knew. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Izumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. I forgot to mention, Shibakun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? If I recall correctly, we were in a big UFO. Invasion. Barely made it back in one piece. I don't think the world had much of a chance. The year was 1985. Is that a flyer from a movie theater? Logs indicated shut down sometime in the Heisei era. But at the time I visited, was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. So Sector 4 is in 1985. And Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40-year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods. All of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have no idea. What do you think, Sukasa-kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. 
If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. We know that kaiju technology allows for time travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Hold on. While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. <laughs> An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. This is bad. What's wrong? The countdown. It's reached zero. Don't tell me. The shaking is... It's time. Unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. What? Get in the transmitter. Are you serious? If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Sumire Bridge amidst the destruction I saw earlier. That bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okinokun. Is something wrong? It's not letting me select any sectors. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Just hurry, okay? Got it. Sector Zero. I don't know what year that is, but it's the only destination we can access right now. Takasakun, get over here, now! I can't. It's not letting me set a timer. I'll need to operate it manually. Go on without me. Takasakun! Chihiro. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. No wonder Century Tower isn't there. It wasn't built until 2100. It'll be over ten years from now before it goes up again. <sighs> There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. Sukasa-kun... ...isn't coming back. Look. Even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go! Do you plan on standing here forever? Still newborns. 
Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. The city may look familiar, but this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. What are we going to do? The invasion's going to happen again in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't... <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... I get it now. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Huh. Stay away from me. <laughs> that incident you just described, it's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? That's crazy. The memories you've been seeing are his. But his name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No, it's a different Juro Izumi. One who came from a lost world. Stay back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means... My dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shibakun... Is that world's Juro Izumi? That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His... consciousness? <laughs> oh my. Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Shibakun! Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Stop this! Oh, come on! Ryoko Shinonome is a freaking weirdo. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences.
I couldn't find Notchan. What if she's alone? Shivering, scared in that ruined city? I won't give up on her. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits, named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me. To get to the organization behind the scenes. There you are! I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <sighs> Are you upset with me? Just been antsy with them. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? Got a sec? You have more questions? I already told you everything I know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. You want something? Nothing for me, thank you. Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I'm telling you, Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again? How's that hay C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want anyways? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take? for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours. How about... until you go on a date with me? <sighs> I got my bike with me today. So I was thinking... Ooh... A bike? Sounds wonderful! Mm. Who's this? Apparently... 
She's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy. But I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Hmm. Huh. Yuki-chan? Next time's a date for sure. Uh... Well then, shall we? Yeah. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah. in the girls' bathroom. There was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Son. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything, come and see me anytime, all right? Tamao san, I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Morimura gave this note to me. <sighs> Shit. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. class this morning. Went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Aiba. In the hospital. Ugh. The real Aiba has been sick. Confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Ugh. Well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, Sekigahara. Hey. Oh. oh! What are you doing? Is that... Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. 
Meaning he got away, looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. <sighs> I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. Mm. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me... ...is you. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time... I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now. But the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh shit, Iba! Stay back. It's not dead yet. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. 
We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Aiba. year student did you need something from us <sighs> goto senpai he can also travel through time so who exactly is he i saw a log made by me but from 2188 in it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And a, but the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. At least for now, I, 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 turns out he he the agent they in they there's something else about Sentinel Number Seventeen. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find the Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. This small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow when I touch it? It's scaring me. <sighs> Maybe... Maybe aliens really did put something in me. It's open. <gasps> Where's BJ? There you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but... 
It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is below the main control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. Let's go to the gate. Okay. My bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. See her. We're here. What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. Sector 3? It is in 2025. 40 years from now. Which means I'll be in my 50s. I'm having mixed feelings. Code approved. Designated sector. We are here. Jeez, this place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, Class 2A. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? Places and ruins. But it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again. We're supposed to stick together. Stop right there. <sighs> she don't know me, Senpai? Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life! Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsu no Minami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida? You're not taking BJ! Yeah, Out of my way.
It's freezing. Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! Maybe he's... Nope, never mind. PJ! He's not here. Over here, either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Sure. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Let me guess. You're meeting up at the same place again? Pretty much, yeah. See ya. Bye. It's about Kisaragi-san. Usami-chan? Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Ogata-kun was looking for her. Oh, really? Maybe Nenji-kun likes her. So, do you know? She goes to Tokisaka Shrine. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine? Is that the one that's supposedly haunted? I've been there before. Something happened there. I can't remember. Oh, wait! Please don't tell Nenji-kun. The person she's meeting is a boy, so... Oh, no. Knock it off. I... Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words... Yours. The other Juro Izumi. You know, this one's three times older than you. They say the shrine by our school is haunted by ghosts. Kisaragi-san's told me a bit about it. She seems interested in the shrine for some reason. That guy, in my dream, he called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before.
What exact? 48 cube. I don't. Mm. Then why don't you watch the. I'm... You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Hey, watch it! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? Hey, I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? The heck is she thinking? Wait! I'll come with you. There's something I want to check. Be my guest. This street... I've been here before. I think I saw something. The memories are starting to come back. But I can't remember any specifics. Gata. You... Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Cause I sure as hell do. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun. Aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh... Yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. What? Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? <sighs> I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? So this Okino you're looking for... Is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. But it's probably the same person. So that's who Kizuragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? She mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh. You don't know either? <sighs> it was right here. Something happened. <sighs> but what was it? Oh, yeah. I carried something over to the dumpster. <laughs> What's up? There's a, a corpse in there. The hell? No way. Cut the cra- Whoa! Isn't that- Hey, give me a hand! Sure looks like a corpse. But this thing's a robot. It's... it's Tamao-san. Why? Why does it look like her? Tamao? Tamao Karabe. Wait, what? My grandma? No. This is... It's dark out already. Well, that's okay. This was worth the detour. I finally got my hands on that movie. Now I just need to get home and watch it.
I'm sorry it had to come to this. I should never have let you out of the underground. Just as I thought, you've returned. If only I hadn't spared you. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. You must think you're handling this situation well. But Nira is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school was to hide the lock from you. Uh, quit stalling. <sighs> Morimura must have arranged this. Um... She's... not human. Is this a doll? <sighs> that's odd. If that's the case, then... who was talking to him? Hiro Kurabe, don't move a muscle. Or would you like your skull to be crushed? This body will not last for much longer. I approximate about five minutes. But that should be plenty. I need only enter your nanomachines. I thought I was done for. But it seems today's my lucky day. Hey, what are you doing? Juro. What? Who are you? Come on, man. Did you forget your best buddy? I'm afraid. <laughs> That's not very nice. Yeah... Sorry... I remember now... You're... Shiba-kun. Wait, hold on! I was attacked! I need to call the police! Attacked? Maybe you really did go nuts. Huh? Are you telling me this doll attacked you? Where'd you get that thing anyway? Don't just leave this thing out in the street. What if it causes a car accident? You'd be in deep shit, man. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Let's just dump it in the trash. Uh, wait... Something's just... Oh, snap out of it! Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. Just pick it up already. Um... All right. Me?
Cool. So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my dream, her soul... That's... Whoa. She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. <sighs> Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Yuki-chan? Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. <clears throat> Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Kurabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out, too? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I need some fresh air. Public, lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. What's got you so spaced out? Amiguchi. Uh, Just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I had skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh... I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So... What's going on with you? Huh? Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. <clears throat> oh, I totally forgot. What's up? 
Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I... I I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No <gasps> need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Ugh! Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <gasps> Point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That Sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? Like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. 
You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Oh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Let's go.